We are all moved into the new place. There's boxes everywhere, but we got all the furniture here and that's what matters. And I'm just really happy that we have our bed and everything we need here. A lot of work to come, but I'm in the office right now. So if you've watched my very old vlog, this is what my office was before. I'm back in the same room, but it's going to look a lot different. It's gonna get a nice little facelift. We're gonna fix up this room, but it's good for now. We got a little desk. We got a little computer, that's all we really need. Other guest bedroom, gets really good light. We're probably gonna turn that bed around and like, so it's against the wall, not coming out. Make it into a little bit of like a day bed, put pillows against the wall, so it kinda looks like a couch situation. And then maybe move this into the closet and put a little desk here, so it's like Brandon's office slash a little day bed for people who wanna come visit. We also have a bedroom in the basement. And then this was my room growing up as a child and we are going to completely fix this room up as well we have our bed and everything so it's very hectic we have things in boxes over here we have just clothes and then this is our closet fully stocked we're gonna fix it up obviously it's very messy our dresser and then we have this little chair nothing fancy i just have it in the corner there until i figure out what i want to do with it um can you just put it in the middle like on top of the dresser Look how pretty that looks. That's a look. It is kind of dangerous that uh, it's not anchored to the wall though right now. So probably we'll do something about that. But it looks cute. This is going to be a week of everything I do as a freelance, full-time freelancer, full-time working for myself, what it actually looks like, exposing what my day-to-day -day looks like. Today's Monday, happy Monday. It's also gonna be a slash just moved into my new place. So it is really messy. So I'm balancing working for myself right now, full time, as well as moving into this new place. So it's going to be interesting to say the least. This is gonna be a very busy week. So as you can see, this kitchen is extremely messy. We just moved in. We put this new couch in, we got a rug and everything, and then this is my little corner of Oasis because it's the only part of the kitchen that actually looks great and is finished, pretty much finished, so check it out. Look how cute this is. Ignore the frozen chicken in the corner, but like, I got my coffee station, my tea station, smoothies, this is just, this is giving me serotonin and giving me inspiration to finish the kitchen. So it also looks as beautiful, well the whole kitchen looks as beautiful as this corner. I just finished a workout. I didn't do anything too intense because I literally had to just hunt for all of my stuff. I was like, where are my weights? Where's my iPad? So it's just like a 20 minute body weight cardio, body weight strength class. And then I added a bit of weights with my like weights that I could find. So it was just quick and easy. It's nine o'clock now. It took a while to just like find things this morning and I'm gonna have some scrambled eggs and then I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna make my coffee after. Um, I have a lot to do this morning. So I'm gonna hustle until like one o'clock probably, have lunch and then I'll probably end the day around like three, two or three because I have so much unpacking to do but also depends how much client work I get through. So let's let's get this day started. Minus the kids, I am really entering my suburban mom era right now. It has been interesting. So this is my first night in the new place by myself, like with Brandon, like creating it our own. This Today was the first day where I'm like, I have to take care of this big house by myself. Like not by myself, Brandon's, Brandon as well, but I work from home, so it's easier for me to just look after stuff during the day. Like this morning, I got up, I was like, I gotta check the pool, I gotta check the pool levels, make sure everything's good, and I just, it was fun. I feel like I'm playing house because obviously this isn't my house. It's my dad's house, which I'm just taking care of. It's nice having an office that has a lot of natural light. My old apartment had horrible natural light in the one bedroom because it just was like against like another house, but it had really great lighting in just my bedroom. And then the living room was like so-so. It wasn't great. So it's nice to have like natural lighting again. And 
I think we, we went from like a place that was, I don't want to say too small for us because we don't need that much space, but like felt kind of small with just, well, I mean, it was a two bedroom apartment, but it was a very small two bedroom apartment. Like the living room and kitchen area were quite small. And then we have two bedrooms again, like enough like space for us to live, but not enough like space to like host or to like put our, have a lot of storage room. So we went from like a really small, like, I don't know how big it was. Um, like a small apartment to like a huge house that has like five bedrooms, which so just a lot of a transition, but it's been good. This is so unlike me, but I'm having a second coffee. I think I'm going to have to chill on the coffee because I go through phases and I was in a phase where I didn't drink any coffee. I was just drinking tea. Now I'm in my latte era, which I think, well, I know I'm in my latte era. One, look how cute this thing is that I made myself. So obviously I need to use it every day and like have good drinks in it. But secondly, I feel like I finally mastered the art of making a latte. And a hazelnut latte, if you have not had a hazelnut latte, it slaps different. It hits different. I don't know how, it just does. So I just onboarded a new client. It's like a full service client. So there's a lot kind of going in. I'm creating a website for them and I'm also running all their social, making video stuff for them. So there's a lot going on. So today is a very, today's the first official day I would call working with them. Last week was more of like the onboarding, sending onboarding documents. And this is the first day I've like sat down and be like, okay, it's time to get to work, try, time to get everything organized. What am I gonna do? When am I gonna do it? So I set up a tab in Notion and I just put the different things that I have to do. So I need to create a brand kit for them. I gotta create a social strategy, get started on social calendar for them and just like organizing what it's gonna look like. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna have my other latte which is crazy, I never had two coffees in one day, but this one's just a single shot of espresso, not a double. I don't wanna be on another universe. Ready? Okay, I'm going to Starbucks, this is my little outfit. I usually wear just like Lululemon pants or something when I want to be comfy, but these are equally as comfy. I just got them from Winners, and I'm really happy with them. And then I'm not wearing any makeup or anything because I don't love makeup, but I'm just I just put these like little earrings in, and I feel a lot more put together. Like my hair isn't down, so it's like not as much, but I feel like my skin looks good even though I'm not wearing makeup. I just put like moisturizer on, and I'm here for this outfit. Okay, I need to have breakfast. It's been such a hectic morning. I've been trying to get out of the house for like an hour now to go to Starbucks. I need to get out of this house to uh, get get work done. Get work done, Get be in a new place. I really want a Starbucks drink. And it's been a very hectic morning. I had a client call, which was great, uh, but just like a lot going on that I need to get done. I finally got around to making breakfast, which is great. And now I really need a coffee. So we're gonna eat these up real quick. We're gonna have my greens and then we're gonna head off to Starbucks. Hopefully nothing else pops up that I get busy doing before I can hit the road. Should I have gone with these shoes? Do these look better with this outfit? So I got up at like 8.30 and then did a workout. I like chilled for a bit and then did a workout around 9, 9.30. And now I'm starting my day. It is almost 11 o'clock, but that's okay. I had a very productive morning, really good workout, good breakfast. And then my boyfriend got me uh, iced coffee. Well, it's a nitro cold brew from Little Victories in Ottawa, and it is so good. Have a good day. We're gonna have a good day. I have a lot of work to get done, a lot of client work. I have two meetings, two meetings this afternoon, and yeah, I'm just excited to do a little week in my life vlog in a new place. So many updates, so many new things that I've purchased for my office, and just like really fun things that we'll go through. But yeah, let's get this day started. I hope you can hear the little birdies singing, because I can, and it's helping my mood. We're gonna put the Pomodoro timer on, we're gonna put white, white noise on, we're gonna get all the things so we can be focused and have a very productive morning. Okay, so I will see you later, and then yeah, I just purchased a bunch of new stuff for my office, and one thing in particular that I'm really, really excited about that's really cool that I've never had before, and I'm gonna go through that with you after. But first, let's get some work done, because the day is going, and I gotta, 
get on with the day. We got a little walking pad to put under our desks, which I am so, I'm so excited. Basically you put this under your standing desk and then you can use it to work out. I find the walking tread is so awesome for like specifically after lunch when you're still digesting, you feel really tired and you don't really have enough time to go on like a long walk. I'll walk on it while I'm doing work. I say I walk on it. We've had it for like a week. I've only used it once and it was on the weekend, but I would, I'm planning to walk on it when I have work to do after lunch, but I don't have time to actually like take a longer lunch. So let's see, let's see how it goes. I got a lot of work to do today and I have a meeting in an hour with another client. So let's go, let's do this. I just got these really cute highlighters and I'm really excited to use them. They're beautiful pastel colors and I like the shape of them a lot. It would be really cool if they had like a magnet so they could like stick together, but I not spending that amount of money. They were pretty cheap, which is really awesome. Um, I just got them off Amazon and I'm excited to use them. I find like regular highlighters are like pretty ugly colors, but like this pack together, I think was like $10. So it wasn't really more expensive to buy these pretty colors. So I'm just giving makeshift, but I think once I have an actual riser, it will be pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of time to get used to it, I think. Start an indoor walk. I lost my tripod and I don't know where it is. So this is the best angle that we can work with. I'm having a very good morning. Well, it's afternoon now. Some on-site stuff to do with my client. We were getting photography work done, which was really fun. We went to a few different locations. I work with like a renovation company and we went to a few different sites that they did and we were a photographer and got a bunch of like photo content and then I got a bunch of like I got a bunch of content for social media, got some videos, so it was a really fun and productive morning. I'm wearing a cute outfit today. I normally don't wear cute outfits, so usually we just wear sweats. But actually, these feel like sweatpants, so it's a win-win. These are more comfortable than like jeans or honestly like some sweatpants. I got these from Winners. Let me try to show you the angles. I got these from Winners for like $25, and I also ordered a pair from Abercrombie. They were like 70, we'll see the difference. I'll probably keep both because I need them. And then I got this top, I thought it would just be, I got it on the Ritzia sale. I'm trying to like get a good angle. The Ritzia sale is just like a black top and I really like it. I have the same type of top and like spaghetti straps and then long sleeve and it's just like good like work top. So I need to make my green juice because I, like I was productive this morning and stuff. Like I woke up early, but I did not have a proper breakfast. I had a granola bar. For the rest of the day, I think I'm done working for today. Like there is some work I have to get done, but like not at this exact moment. So I had a really busy morning, so I think I had a long lunch and stuff. And I think now I'm just gonna do some house stuff. I need to clean my pool and there was something wrong with my like chlorinator. So basically um, I have a saltwater pool and then there's this device called a chlorinator that chlorinates the pool. I don't know exactly how it works, but there was something wrong with it and I just fixed it. Really entering my suburban mom era, like taking care of a pool, all of this stuff. It's been, it's been interesting to say the least. Um, but now I need to put some more chemicals in the pool and also clean it. Okay, let's actually sit down and enjoy this drink. I need your advice on something. Do I clean the pool first or work out first? Here are the three things I wanna to do today and I need to figure out the order. I already worked, I did on-site photo shoot stuff. Next, I need to clean the pool and deal with the backyard. I wanna go on a walk because I'm really obsessed with this podcast right now. It's called Scamanda. It's a long buildup, but it's basically about, I don't wanna give it away because I'm the type of person if like, I just want someone to tell me it's a good podcast and nothing more. Like say with movies, I'm like, don't even tell me the genre, just tell me it's good and I wanna be surprised by everything. But if you like crime type of stuff, this is a really good podcast. It's called Scamanda. It has a really long buildup. But once you get past it, it's really great. And I think the buildup really helps you like get into it. Like I was walking yesterday and I was like, holy moly, I'm just literally gonna walk 10K because I wanna listen to this whole thing. Clean the pool, go on a walk and do a big workout. What order do I do those things in? If your advice was to clean the pool first, you were right. That's what I needed to do because it is beautiful out. Maybe I'll go for a little swim after because it is so brutally hot and I'm not wearing sunscreen on my arms. Actually, I did put sunscreen on earlier today, but I'm not wearing it right now, which is not cool. So I need to go put some sunscreen on.
go for a walk now because I'm really into my podcast. Um, the one I was mentioning before, it's called Skibanda, and I have one episode left. It's like an hour, so I think I'm really going to go for like a 10K walk and listen to the whole thing. We'll see what actually ends up happening. And then if I end up walking that that long, I don't need to work out. I might do a little strength workout when I get back because I will definitely not eat any more cardio. And then maybe I'll do a little jump in this pool. I'm having uh, some friends over on Friday. We're going to have a little like potluck pool party situation. I'm going to go for a walk now. This is the outfit. I got at like the Lululemon outlet and it was like $30 I think and I got two different colors and it fits perfectly and yeah I find the Lululemon bras fit very very small so I always have to like size up a bunch I don't know are the people the same I find Lululemon bras are just so small for some reason we had to make a pit stop before the walk it was very very necessary I needed to have a snack because I was a little hungry and I was gonna get cranky this is my favorite go-to like healthy snack if I want it to taste more like a treat. I mean, I'm not saying that I do this in replace of a treat. I still have my good share of candy and chocolate, but like I need some fuel right now for my walk. I will cut up an apple and put, drench it in cinnamon, like drench it. Not a little bit, like a lot, but that's because I like cinnamon. So maybe, maybe you don't do the same if you don't love cinnamon as much as I do. And then I add a little bit of peanut butter on it and it tastes so good. And I've also heard this tip before. You can also like roll it in like, if you have like pistachios or some sort of like nut that you really like, roll it in that as well. And it's just like the perfect protein snack that kind of tastes like a treat. What I like to do is I like to go to Bulk Barn and just get their natural peanut butter because I think it's probably the most like natural peanut butter I can find because I think realistically what they're supposed to be, because there's a machine there where you can do it yourself and this is like the same thing. It's like literally nuts and then they just blend it. These are my favorite days of the week because I have no meetings today. I have nothing going on and I can just have a focus day. A focus day on my computer is just my favorite thing. I like a little bit of variety. Like I like to get out. Like yesterday I had to... I went out and did a photo shoot with a client and that was really fun and I met new people and that was awesome. But there's something about just like having a really wholesome computer day that just hits different. So I'm really excited for that. I had a pretty productive morning. I did a workout, which I have not been great at doing, but I'm slowly getting back into that routine. Now it is 10.30 and I'm going to start my work day. I have my coffee here. By coffee, I mean tea. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else goes back and forth between coffee and tea. I feel like you're either coffee gal or tea gal or neither. But I don't know many people who just like go back and forth between them. That's me. Like sometimes I'll wake up and I'm like, the idea of coffee makes me nauseous. But the idea of tea makes me excited. And then vice versa. I just got back from a walk and my new equipment arrived from my office. I'm super excited. So this is the Logitech keyboard. Brandon got it for his work and I love the quality of it. It looks like the, oh, open. <laughs> the Apple keyboard, but obviously for a fraction of the price. And they had it in the color that I wanted, which makes me very happy. And it's also just like very good quality. Like it's heavy, you know, it's not just like a cheap plastic one, which again, there's nothing wrong with like getting just a plastic keyboard. That's what I had for the longest time. But I wanted to give myself a little upgrade. But look how pretty it is. It looks exactly like the Apple one for like half the price. I think it was about like $100. I can't remember exactly. But definitely way cheaper than the Apple one. I remember comparing both of them. And just, this is the vibe I'm going for. I'm so sweaty for my walk. But we're just sticking in the door. We're going to ignore that. I'm so excited for this. So this is a mouse, but it's not just any mouse. It's an ergonomic mouse. I never even thought about and I'll show you what I mean when I open it up. And I tried out Brandon and oh my god, it's so much better. Like I know people who've used it and they said literally like the pain they get in their hands from just being at their desk all day literally goes away using this. Woo! Instructions fell out. Like look how cute it looks. So how it goes is you oh it's perfect. I know this looks awkward, but you like rest your hands like this. So it's a more like comfortable, natural place that you would rest your hands versus like on top of a mouse. And they match. They're cute. Okay, now let's set it up. I'm so excited. So here's what we got going on with my office setup. It's not perfect, but it's coming together. We have this little riser, which the 
keyboard and mouse will go under when I'm not working. The mouse and keyboard look really great. And then I have this riser for my laptop. But now that I have a really good docking station with all the right plugins that I need, I can charge everything at once, use everything at once, what a difference it makes.